hey you guys and welcome back to my channel hope you are having a great day today so i am jumping right into today's upload because i am just so excited i told you guys maybe two videos ago that i ordered my rug and now the rug is in you guys and i am so excited i haven't seen it yet so i am opening it up with you guys i'm also on ig live so if you hear me talking and doing some extra stuff just know that I am on Instagram live. I decided to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone in this video Like I said, I'm with you guys here on YouTube, but then I'm on IG live and I am so excited you guys Let's go ahead and see what the rug is looking like Y'all I hope this rug is as pretty as it was in this video. I really hope it's as pretty Let me make sure I got all my ads down. As you guys can tell, I am so excited. The rug looks so good. I was so excited that I didn't even think and I left my shoes on. I will not and nor do I plan to wear my shoes in the house or on my rug, you guys, okay? So I'm just gonna have to excuse myself on this one. For those of you guys that are still asking, I do plan on ordering a bed frame. I was supposed to be ordering one um, the beginning of September as like a birthday present to myself, but instead I am going to order a sectional for upstairs. So I feel like in terms of me being in my bedroom, I have ample seating. The bed is just where I'm sleeping, which I have no issues going to sleep. Now, in terms of having company come over, there's nowhere for them to sit down. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get a sectional. So I already have the sectional with the accent chair and ottoman and coffee table. Everything is going into a plan right now. And then I'm gonna slowly start getting things. So to answer, answer that question for the 200th time <laughs> i am getting a bed it's just not something that i'm gonna get right this second but right now i'm moving everything out of the way that way i can put the rug down you guys the rug is so good i'm sure you can tell on camera how it's just moving so nice and I've purchased, you know, high-end rug, low-end rugs, and everything in between. And you can really tell when you have like a really good rug because you don't have the rug, you know, sticking up, sticking out, looking kind of crazy and all that stuff. So I really wanted to invest in a really good rug for the loft, for the master bedroom, in my living room. So those three areas in the house, I definitely plan on saving up some extra coins that way I can do that. And like I said, I'm currently live so you guys are going to see me grab my phone here and there once everything is fully into the master i'm then going to measure as always make sure everything is in its right place make sure everything is symmetrical and then i'm going to put everything back and just do a small tidying up of my bedroom to get everything back in its place Maybe it's a big dark world you don't need to know about that don't need to know about that I'll protect you with my lies You don't need to know about that Don't need to know about that Just let me love you 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 
I wanted to go ahead and mention to you guys that currently I do not have the rug mat underneath this particular rug. It was just because I was really excited and I wanted to go ahead and just put the rug down. But I did order a rug mat before the bed frame goes down that will be placed underneath. It really helps with the longevity and just overall with everything with the rug. That's one. Number two, yes. I'm on the struggle bus with this day bed, but by the time I called my son and he would have came upstairs to help me, I would have already moved it. If you have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I went on ahead and I moved it myself, but definitely if you have someone at home and you need the help, get the help. But as you guys know, I do this. So <laughs> I really didn't have an issue, but now that I have the day bed in front of the bed and everything looks really good, I'm super amped now. I'm going to go ahead and put all the bedding back on the bed. As I mentioned in a previous video, what I'm currently spraying is a little Febreze. The sheet, if I'm not mistaken, might've gotten washed maybe two or three days prior. I could tell you guys now, I literally wash my bedding once a week. I have to because of all the renovation projects that are going on. It just gets really dusty in my room with painting, with new fixtures going up and all that jazz. But I'm going to go ahead and get my room back and that's it. All right, you guys, I am stepping out of the bathroom. It looks so good. If you guys remember that chocolate fabric. That's why I wanted like the hint of like that dark grayish brown right here. You have the light blue, the creams, the rug is so gorgeous. I was like literally looking at it for like a month or two months. Like, do I really want to get it? Do I really want to get it? And I wasn't sure. Um, and then finally, I noticed that it wasn't getting marked down. And I, I was just like, I don't want it to be out of stock. Because a lot of things have just been coming up out of stock just because um, COVID. And just trying to get in material in general has been quite difficult. So I was just like, you know what? The rug has every single color that I'm looking for. Let me stop playing around with it. Let me just go ahead and get it. So I did. It looks so good. Again, I addressed it in the last video. I'll address it again. I will be getting a bed. But you guys, I just want you to see, like, it's a vibe. Like I said, I just lightly cleaned up my room really quickly, but you can kind of see the colors. Going to the ceiling, the fireplace is going to be getting done this Friday, and then the pillows. Oh God, the fabrics in here are amazing. And then the rug, and then, oh, listen, patience is a dang 
virtue. You have to be patient. This whole process is requiring me to be patient because trust and believe I would love to be able to implement everything that's in my head um, into this space, but I know it's going to require um, a lot of time and stuff. I got to get um, some plastic so when the guys are in here working, I can cover all the furniture. But you guys, first of all, this blue in here with the cross stitch is gorgeous. Go down and pan to the rug. Gorgeous. Every single color that I want in here, I can. I can bring in purple. I can bring in pink. I can bring in cream. I can bring in whatever color I want to put in here. Black, if I wanted to, with this. It doesn't have to be like this. So, even though I made a large investment into the rug, in terms of decor, I can just change up my pillows. Like, get some casing and change the pillows out and incorporate different colors kind of reshot my home a little bit because I am going to have some black pillows in the loft just to kind of bring a whole nother vibe in that space but I love this you guys and then moving to here the day bed oh gosh it's a vibe it's a vibe and then um these two lamps right here I found them at home goods they were a hundred dollars a piece and one's going to go here and the other one's going to go right here with a nightstand but you guys I'm just loving the rug is so much I'm happy it's here it looks so good it looks so so good let me zoom into this part of the rug that way you guys can actually see the colors but you see like this right here is like a blackish gray brown this here is giving off a little greenish brown you got the blue, got the light blue, got the ivory and cream, and almost like right here, a little bit of white. If you're wondering how I'm going to keep it up, I'm going to get it treated. Um, I have a company coming out. They're going to spray the fabric with a fabric protectant. And then I guess every maybe two years it's going to get clean. But you know what? The rug in the master really is not considered, in my opinion, for, in my house, let me just say that. It's not a high traffic area, so I really didn't have an issue with the rug getting dirty. The main rug that was, like, really problematic was the one under the dining room table. That was really the only one. Everything else in the house stayed pretty clean, so I really didn't have too much of an issue. But, you guys, it just looks so good. I absolutely love it. <laughs>